under the bridge. Okay. Finally, things are getting interesting again. That fire quest left such a bad taste in my mouth. Hey, Tancred. Good to see you again. <laughs> I did try repeatedly. Mm. Oh, wow. Interesting. Hmm. Working with nary a word exchanged between them. No one overseeing construction. No one barking orders. <laughs> exactly. It was as if they were possessed or tempered. Exactly. They were. Yeah. Oh, what? How could you... How could you temper a primal? Or, I mean, he's not a real primal. That's like... Uh, I don't know what that is. A creation. A monster. Maybe a primal. In any case, how, how could you temper it? Um... Sure. Would still like to hear it.
Hey everyone. Yeah. You know, that seems really powerful. Why didn't the 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 main three Ashens ever used something like that? Tampering with people at will? Why didn't they use it? Interesting. Come on, S spill it. Say it. Oh, so much secrecy. So much secrecy. All right, everyone is here. Ere we begin, I would like to offer my gratitude to Masters Thancred and Uriange. Tis no small feat to infiltrate the Imperial capital and live to tell the tale. Yeah. Much less in times of civil war. Thanks to them, we may plot our course in full knowledge of how the winds blow in Garlemald. Yeah. Applause. Full glad are we to have been of service. But verily, such dangers as we did encounter pale into insignificance next to those faced by our comrades. I doubt that. Asian, armed with the might of Bahamut, bent on bringing about the final days. Theatrix. He sought only to make a show of the power at the Telephoroi's disposal. Yeah. But since then we have seen no sign of this fun Daniel or his worm. And while we've done what we can to bolster our defenses, there's no telling where he might strike next. Whenever and wherever it may be, we must use the intervening time to learn more of our enemy. Twas with this in mind that we dispatched scouts to investigate the towers. Our advance party took longer than expected to return. And when they did, they tried to kill us. Luckily, I'd seen that sort of thing before, and we were able to restrain them before they did any harm. Then it was just a matter of letting the Porxies do their work. Are you saying they were tempered? Once they'd come back to their senses, they told us everything they could. It seems that just as they were getting close to the tower, they heard an ear-splitting roar. And that was the last thing they remembered. Mm, so the... But what worries me most is what they were saying right before they attacked. A roar. So they are using some kind of power from the primal. Hmm. 
glory be to Garlemont. The Tempered have heretofore ever been thralls to primal entities, yet these hapless souls were compelled to accept a nation as the object of their devotion. Yeah. This calleth into question all that we know of the condition. Yeah, it does. Would that the unsettling news ended there. Alas, there is more. Following the earlier reports of missing Amalja, we have learnt that other beast tribes have suffered similar losses. And we now have reason to believe that the abductions are connected to the appearance of the towers. Huh. Hmm. Are the towers each hosting a... A different primal. Our scouts sighted black garbed figures leading shackled Ixel in the direction of the tower in Dravania. Oops. The Temple Knights were able to intercept them before they could reach their destination, liberating the Ixel and apprehending their captors, each of whom was found to be equipped with Garlean arms and armor. So the Empire is the common thread. With the support of Xenos, it seems likely that Van Daniel has rallied a faction of the splintered Garlean army to the banner of the Tolophoroi. Lord Hien reached the same conclusion when I shared our findings with Doma. Why would anyone in the Empire agree to that? Why would they be working to bring about the end of the world? They're just people, they're not madmen. The plan had been to march on Garlemald from the east and west in order to force a peace treaty. But the situation has changed. Dealing with the threat of the towers must come first. Yeah, not to mention how dangerous that would be. Imagine if they could just tamper with everyone on the field. Given the nature of the enemy and the proven risk of tempering, I could think of few suitable candidates to aid in this task. But I am confident in my choice. Yeah, I bet. I mean, there's no choice. Only us and Ferdola. What? It's nice to see her. Resistant to primal influence as they are, they can investigate the towers without fear of being turned. Oh yeah, and him, I guess. He has the We are glad to put our gifts to use, Commander. Our evolved. Gifted or not, going behind enemy lines remains a perilous undertaking. But we must know more if we're to strike back at our foe. I'm counting on you. If it would give us the upper hand, I'd do it a hundred times over. We won't let you down. Shouldn't I go with them? That concludes the briefing. You two, make ready and join your escort. I mean, I don't have anything better to do. Are you certain about this, Arunvald? I am. Come on. Let's talk outside.
Nice glam. So you know, I've already gone through all the formalities at the Rising Stones. Made sure to inform Jamulder and Vmar at Ralga's Reach as well. Arnvold, I admire your enthusiasm, but this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. I know the risks. And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel from carrying out his plan. With this power of mine, I can make a difference. If I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. Let me go with you. And you, Fudola? Is this what you want? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Eldin gave you a chance to refuse. <laughs> and you didn't. <clears throat> nice. So the Empire's finished, is it? But that's what they're all saying. That the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. Yeah, kind of. And now, from out of its twitching carcass, crawls the Telophoroi with bloody Xenos at its head. Pretty much. I fought for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. What was I part of? I need to know. Whatever it is. I need to know. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. If you finish with your touching display of camaraderie, I have a question. Which tower are you planning to investigate, exactly? Well, the one in Girabani is said to be tightly guarded. It's patrol after patrol out there, apparently. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near it. Which is why we've set our sights on the one in Pagalthan instead. There shouldn't be anything like as many Imperials to worry about down there. Even so, I doubt the local Amalja will look kindly on it if they catch you sneaking around in their territory. Fordola and I had a chance to learn the lie of the land in our previous forays there. We might still find trouble, but at least we won't lose our way. Well, we'd best not keep them waiting any longer. Mayhap when all of this is over, we could take another trip to Loxeld. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. Why is this sounding like a goodbye? This is sounding like a, a less conversation type of thing. Please let me know with them. This is too dangerous. Why am I not going with them? Going with, going with them? Am I going to investigate another tower? But then I will have to go alone and that would be dangerous too. Shouldn't we go all together investigating the towers one by one? Hmm. Ha! I'll believe that when I see it. Though, 
To be fair, getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. <laughs> Take care, Ray. You too are involved. It means a lot, you know. You come in with me. I'll still owe you for saving my skin, don't I? Can't return the favor if I'm not there. Huh. I dare say you'll get your chance before long. That Van Daniel sounds like a tricky customer. Too much for the likes of me, anyway. But we both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a damn sight more than that given what's coming. Please be careful. I realize I can't hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light or Alfino, for that matter. He might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people see in a lifetime. No, the fact is I'm nothing like them and maybe I never will be. But I'll be damned if I don't try. They're counting on me. On us. So let's give it our all. Yeah, so be careful. This is looking like a last scene. I hope it's not. He does not want for conviction. That much is certain. So let us have faith in him. Him and Fordola both. While they see to the towers, I would attend to another task. Chasing down this lunar Bahamut. Mm hmm. How? Oh. Ah, oh, bloody thing. <laughs> Can you hear me? It's Tataru. Oh, I'm happy to say we've managed to find Estinian. Okay. And I'm sorry to say he went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I bet he was like, holy shit, a new bigger dragon for me to kill. Sign me right up. And he went off to, to go after him. But he did mutter something about heading to Ishgard. So if you're quick, you might still be able to catch him. All right. Thank you, Tatru. Even if we set out this instant, he may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send the Bonanza to Ishgard. It may prove useful should we need to give chase. Can't I use the teleport? The crystal teleport? Wouldn't that be faster than the Bonanza? Hey, Tatru. Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Kryl and I get back to the Rising Stones. Good luck. Thank you. You too. While you go off on your dragoon hunt, Urianje and I will return to headquarters. We have much to tell the others. I wish you every success in your search for our elusive friend. May we all meet again ere long. I miss Reen. I really miss her. She added something nice to the to the group. Kind of lightness. And at the same time, she was smart. And uh, some kind of energy. She added a good a good energy to the group. I miss her. Nice. Here be dragons.
Um, okay. Isn't this canonical? Me traveling between uh, either crystals like that? Either right. So, shouldn't they just tell me, okay, go use the crystal, get to each guard instantly? Okay. 